Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kelvin's Queen TV. My name is Ross. This is Blood Omen, a Legacy of Cain, the first game in the Legacy of Cain series, which includes a bunch of titles, most of which we will be putting on this channel. One of which we are not going to because the game is just bad. And the other one is, uh, and it doesn't have any real bearing on the story. And the other one was never officially released. Um, it came out on beta servers in 2015 and then was officially closed in 2016 but was using completely different characters and a totally different storyline just happening in this on the same planet which is called nosgoth the same kingdom the same land um so we'll be playing this game in its entirety uh which is actually the something i've never done before it keeps trying to get into the game <laughs> whenever i'm uh idle on this main screen it keeps trying to just go start game so let me just click on start game before this game the my computer has a conniption and just starts playing the game without me so here we go blood omen legacy of cain there is a magical operation of maximum importance the initiation of a new aeon when it becomes necessary to utter a word the whole planet must be bathed in blood Fulfilling the circle of Malad of the Saffan, you are hereby damned. The pleasures of the flesh are no longer yours. You have but one of the damned warrior. You will serve us for eternity. Tavern's closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveler from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul. Forced to the road and the long, bitter night. All right, we're in the game. We're controlling, controlling Kane, who is a human nobleman. So let me briefly touch upon that opening scene. First of all, it's 1996 when this game came out, so the graphics are not super cutting edge, but graphics is not why you play these games. It's not why you play them at all. Um, what we saw was the vampire Vorador, who is a... Uh, Kind of a major character, but kind of not really. Murdering the Circle of Nine. Nine? Murdering some of the members of the Circle of Nine. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. So on the right there, the right-hand side of the screen, which is my left, actually, the far, 
far right side of your screen there. All those symbols, those are the symbols of the different pillars of Nazgoth. The land we're in is called Nazgoth. It's bound and protected from interplanar um, threats, I guess, by these pillars, um, which each have a guardian. All human guardians at the start of this game. And when one guardian dies, the next one is immediately born. So basically a random baby in the world who is born is destined to become a guardian of that exact thing. Destiny is a huge theme in these games and what you're supposed to do with your life um, is almost like preordained. Leo says, like Avatar. Yeah, a little bit. But there's also a lot of vampires in the world. Vordor is not the only vampire. Um, and Vordor is kind of a, he's a ruthless killer, but he's also kind of like an intellectual as well. Like most vampires, right? And he does have a philosophical and moral reason to murder the Nine, which is he's just trying to protect his race. You see, the Circle of Nine uh, allied themselves with this priesthood of warrior clerics, basically called the Seraphim. So in that opening scene, you saw Malik running to their aid. They were calling for Malik, and this guy dressed in all armor with that with that pole arm, with that um, what would that be? That weapon he had, kind of like a kind of like a Naginata, actually. Um, but we would call it maybe like a it wouldn't be a bill. Doesn't matter. Some kind of pole arm. That was Malik. He's one of the Seraphim, or he was until that dude who took his soul out of his body and put it into that animated armor. Um, who is the necromancer Mortanius, who's one of the remaining circle of nine. He's the guardian of death. I'm already giving too much information. Let's just go. <laughs> um, but that's what happened. That opening scene was Vorador murdering, I think, six of the original nine. And Mortanius was one of the ones left over. All right. So now we're playing Kane, who's a human noble at this point. What does this do? Pause. Zoom. Map, I guess. Another pause button. Great. Okay, cool. Let's go. Assassin. Hey, Victor. All right, watch this. People are trying to murder us right now. Juke. Barry Sanders. <laughs> Can't get me. What? Yeah, jerks. Oh, blocked passage. Oh, uh, Bo Jackson, miss me. Let's try going out this way. Oh, didn't even see you in the darkness there. Whoa, whoa, this way. Oh no, they got me. All right, let's take a few out. Hey, fix us! Hey, fix us! Hey, fix us! Oh my god, I killed them all. I got them in a big group and I killed them all. You're supposed to die. You're supposed to get murdered. I killed them all. I've never done that before. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, okay, okay. All, all right, all right. Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, 
I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. <laughs> you will have the blood you hunger for. I awoke to the pain of a new existence, in a dank womb of darkness and decay. <laughs> Leo says he looks like that Shrek short guy. <laughs> a little bit. I know exactly what you're talking about. So we are a vampire now. The sanctuary spell enables me to travel to my crypt, where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Yeah, it's like a town portal spell here. <laughs> I drank his blood. Uh, the same button to drink blood is also the use item button, I believe. Vampire or Lord Vampire? Uh, are you asking about Vorador? I would say oh, reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron. The heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing and bleeding from his own body. Yeah, I would say if you're gonna if you're gonna like delineate a vampire versus a, like a vampire lord, Vorador is the vampire right now in Nazgoth. And Kane just mentioned the Heart of Darkness, uh, which is in our inventory. Uh, that's the one spell we know. That's the only sword we have. There's the Heart of Darkness. I can't actually like get to it, I don't think. The Heart of Darkness. Thank you. Um, the Heart of Darkness. Thanks, Simon. Simon Templeton is a great actor, and uh, it's the perfect, perfect voice for Kane. Uh, you'll see why. Um, Janos Audrin is kind of, he's not in this game, but he is in later games. He was like the grandfather of vampires. And he was killed by the Seraphim. Uh, when they cut out his heart while he was still alive. And Cain has that heart. Okay. I feel like I spoiled something there. Several things there. That's okay. Let's go. Puzzles in this game are not too complicated. Like, see, what do you think we should do here? Oh. We can use that button. We can also step on this little thing right over here. Open this door. This ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed. For with it, my life force is increased. I love games that go that extra mile. Um, could have just said, like, this makes my health bar bigger. <laughs> but it's well written. Okay, we can drink their blood. They'll be okay. The fact that they disappear is, doesn't mean they're dead. It does. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. Again, you could say it just makes my magic bar increase. But no, they wrote that. Leo says, damn dude, free the girl. No, that's not what they're there for. This isn't that type of game. We're playing a vampire, a, a killer of people. You son of a... Within the walls of these chambers, I could find respite. And if I so chose, resume my journey when my weariness abated. These are save points. Um. Okay. 
Uh, Leo's asking me to be a vegan vampire. A vegan pyre, if you will. Uh, there will be no chance of that happening, unfortunately. We're gonna murder a lot of people in this game. Um... I will admit that... The world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. For in the embrace of the sun I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse, <laughs> along with other things. When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. Oh. So then over there, how do I get to... How do I get to there? Ow! Uh, I was saying, I was gonna say something before, uh... So, I went outside. I can't walk through trees, apparently. Anyway, what I was gonna say. We're definitely playing an anti-hero. He's definitely a vampire, he definitely kills a lot of people, definitely drinks their blood for sustenance. Uh, he's also not a very nice guy. You also have to remember that he was, um... When he was human, he was a noble. All right, another save point? That's kind of generous. Sure. Five days, 20 hours. Okay. So you can kind of expect him to be a some kind of douche of some degree. Whoops. The fighting in these games is sometimes... Whoa, 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 whoa. He was wearing a black t-shirt. I didn't see him. I said, what is he doing hanging out with... Uh... Oh, I'll show you mercy. You can definitely choose to drink people's blood or just, like, coup de gras on them. Ow. I'm sorry, miss. The skeleton exploded. I have to drink your blood. Yeah, walking into the spikes would hurt you. I'm... Ow. Ow, stop. Ow, I just did it. See? I was about to say, I'm sure I'm going to do it without being provoked. And there you go. Oh, there's the button. Killed the gravekeeper by, while talking about cruelty? Well, yeah. I walked the walk. I think I remember this puzzle. Yep, there we go. Whoa! These curious devices hurl bolts of whirling energy and eviscerate my human enemies by stripping ragged flesh from blood-stained bone. Okay. <laughs> oh, this game is terrible sometimes. Actually, before I go that way, let's do this. Oh, come on. He was headed the other way. Uh, I don't remember this. Can't push these out of the way. Apparently, these developers never played Legend of Zelda. Clearly, you push on this one way, you get to move it. And you hear that very satisfying... 
Ding, 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 ding. Nope, not in this game. I'm kidding. There are tons of secrets in these games. Tons of them. We just saw one, that, that floating card. Whoops. Outside one of the, um... Uh, cemetery buildings here. I'm just going to make sure this isn't actually a thing. Uh, I have never beaten this game. This was a game I used to watch my younger brother play a lot. So I would watch him, and I know uh, many parts of the game. Oh, uh, that's the end of it. Okay. I know many, many parts of this game, but I've never beaten it myself, so... We're in this adventure together. And I have to say... Hunger and weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. Send them back whence I came. That's cool. It's came from hell, you know. He is a vampire. Ow. Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, there are people over here. Hey, what's up? Seeker, if we put you down once, we could do it again. Their sneering faces were forever etched upon my memory. I had crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty save for one thought. I would kill. There is no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With my assassins dead, my quest was over. That's what you think. Yeah, those are the guys who killed us in the opening scene. I was talking earlier about never having beaten this game. I will say this much. Soul Reaver 2. Tis not over, Kane. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters. Look to the pillars and gain way to the fortress of the mind. All right, so he's talking about the pillars. Soul Reaver 2 is my favorite game of all time. This was where the bloody deed of my murder took place. I would not be kind to the denizens that lurk here. They would taste my steel and I their blood. There you go. We're gonna kill a bunch of people. For no reason other than uh, we're a vampire, we're evil, and we like to kill. I also like to shimmy. You know, I've never been able to figure out if there's a way to, to get the tavern keep, bar keep. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Oh, I thought we had orbs or something. Um, yes. Wait, how do I? Flay. Flay, Flay. right. Right. I want to. I want to use it. I forgot how to use it. Why isn't it there? I put it into the little circle. Why isn't it there? Oh, there we go. Okay, great. Um, wait, how do I cast it? How now do I cast it? Um, Okay, that's how you cast it. Wow. Who else wants some? Knock, knock. Are you having pleasant dreams? Wow. 
Wow. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, it doesn't even give you a chance to question the morality. It's just like, yep, you're doing this now. This is who you are. Really trying to hammer home the fact that you're absolutely no longer human. I didn't know you could slash barrels open. Or I'd forgotten. Yeah. That is the most British way to say but uh, Not every voice actor in this game is British. As a matter of fact, uh, well, no one's not British or American, I don't think. Actually, I don't know where René Aubergine was from. He, he voices characters later in the series. He might be Canadian? I don't know. Whoa, hey! Fifty Mace to read the home joke. I'm sorry. I'm so involved in... In the game. The necromancer had offered me no warning as to what my resurrection would entail. And yet I must confess in my haste I had not sought one. Was his gift a curse? I would seek the pillars for an answer. Seek the pillars then. <laughs> right. That's the town we just came from. Where now everyone is dead. Hey, boys. Uh, I remember some of these guys being able to throw knives. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, the purple people. Whoa! Oh, I walked into that one actually. Yeah, I'll take your blood. I don't think I need to, but... I did. I'm role-playing. Come on. Oh my god. That was not a clinic in how to kill someone by either side. <laughs> Shimmy. What's up? Do you notice I can choose to either uh, drink their blood or just straight up execute them? The pillars of Nosgoth. Even in life, Few sights have moved me such as this. I marvel that such beauty should grace our dying world. As daylight chases darkness, the vampire's power wanes. Oh, wait, is there like a daytime thing? I don't remember. So now we're at the Pillars of Nazgoth. This is what they look like. Nopraptor, your madness has shattered our dreams and blinded you. Keep your distance, or I'll send you back to hell, spirit! There is nothing left of me to fear, vampire. I'm only a shadow of my former self, Ari the balance of the Circle of Nine. Even so, I can provide the answers you seek. I seek only a cure. There is no cure for death, only release. You must destroy the sorcery, the sorcery that is now poisoning Nosgoth. Only then will you realize peace. The Nine, the Protectors of Hope, were sworn to use their powers to preserve our world. 
Now these pillars have been corrupted by a traitor. My murder at the hands of this beast drove my love Napraptor mad. Now he spreads misery and pain among the circle, crumbling the very foundation of Nazgoth. You must restore balance. You must right the pillars of Nazgoth. I care not for the fate of this world. Then for yourself, Cain. Beware the unspoken. Nupraptor, with his blind act of vengeance, threatened to destroy all of Nosgoth. Each Circle member was bonded to the pillar he served. The pillars reflected the mental state of their servants, and as the minds of the Circle degenerated and descended farther into dementia, the pillars crumbled. To restore them, each member of the Circle had to die, and the artifact that served as their link to the pillar had to be returned. Only when all the pillars were restored did Ariel claim my curse would end. And so, my hunt for Nupraptor began. The pillar of energy, protected by the energist to Jewel. Right, so I just walked into that last bit. So, yeah, Kane is absolutely right there. That this is the game. What Ariel just explained to us is the game. And what Kane, uh inferred from her information is the game. So uh, Ariel was the balance guardian, the guardian that kept all the magics on an even keel. And she had a lover named Napraptor. And Napraptor is also in the circle of nine. He is the guardian of the mind. And when she was murdered, he went insane. And when the, <laughs> when the, Guardian of the mind goes insane. He has an effect on all the other uh, guardians, just as Ariel has effect on them being keeping them all balanced. He had an effect on them being mindful and sane. So now her murder not only unbalanced things, it also drove him insane. And they believe that the corruption of the pillars coincided with Napraptor's insanity um, is what they're thinking. So in order to restore the pillars, because a new guardian is born when the um, former one dies, you now have to go through and kill the remaining members, all the circle of nine, so that a new guardian can be born to restore the pillar. Because while the pillars are corrupted, Nazgoth is in danger. From what, it's not immediately clear, but everybody agrees that the pillars need to be restored. No matter who um, is pulling the strings or giving Cain the information. And pulling strings is also a theme here. Machiavellian machinations and schemes, very much a theme here. It gets kind of complicated, uh, and the politics of the game get a little involved, but... This game is amazing. Let's get back to it. That's the, the one of energy, I believe. Right? The pillar of time, protected by the time streamer Mobius. Pillar Mobius is a hugely major character in these games. The pillar of states, protected by the alchemist Anacroth. Right. States. Not hugely important. The Pillar of Death, protected by the Necromancer Mortanius. Mortanius brought us back. The Pillar of Balance, once defended by Ariel. The Pillars choose their own. Yep. Pillars do choose their own guardian. The Pillar of the Mind, protected by the Mentalist Nupraptor. Nupraptor, yep. So Ariel, this ghost here, is the balance, the former balance guardian. The pillar of conflict, protected by the paladin Malik. Oh, Malik was one of the Circle of Nine. He's also a Seraphim. I thought he was, I thought he was ancillary to the uh, to the Circle. He's actually part of it. I f totally forgot about that. I don't remember ever fighting Malik in the game. Might make sense. He's definitely part of this. 
the pillar of nature, protected by the druid Bane. I don't know who Bane is. I totally forgot. The druid, apparently. And the last one? You want to give me the last one? This one was Bane, right? There's one more. The, the pillar of nature, protected by the druid Bane. Okay, so this one's Bane. What's this one then? The pillar of conflict. Pillar of conflict, this one. Oh. The pillar of dimension, protected by the planar azimuth. Azimuth. Dimension. Yeah, right. So we got mind, dimension, conflict, nature, goulet. Balance is in the middle. Balance is the most important one. Uh, this one was, uh, what now? Of energy, protected energy. by the energist, the jewel. The jewel. So energy. The pillar of time. Time, that's Mobius. The pillar of death. Death, that's Mortanius. And then the last one was states. The pillar of death. Nope. Last one states for sure. We have to kill all those people. <laughs> well, Ariel's already dead. Well, actually, here you go. Here's a question for chat. If you've been following along. Ariel's already dead. Balance pillar. Still corrupt. Hmm. Very interesting, right? I think it's very interesting. Ooh, I don't know if we want to go that way yet. Maybe we do. I don't know which way it is. Another save point. In bat form, I can travel great distances with ease. From my vantage in the heavens, no region of Nosgoth is forbidden to me. Yeah, we can turn into a bat now. These beacons serve as landmarks during my flights in bat form. Once I have committed their locations to memory, I can always return. That's crazy cool. Alright, we got it. That's like a way to fast travel in this game. Hey, what's up, buddy? Sure, I could use a drink. Hey, what's up, friend? I mean, if a vampire were to kill me personally, I would rather they just uh, execute me like that. Don't drink my blood. What? That's... Looks like me. This isn't my crypt, is it? Oh, these frickin... Oh, yeah, that's right. These shadows? You can hide in these shadows. Oh, oh. some Tenchu stealth assassins action happening here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. That's pretty fun. The gameplay in this game is probably, on the whole, a little bit better than the Soul Reaver games. For most people, not for me. What? Who's moaning? Who's moaning? Oh, they're there. They're in the darkness. Wait, some, something appear over there? I don't have to drink their blood. While it is true that natural light weakens a vampire, magical light can have many uses indeed. Um. 
Oh, that's a healing spell. Okay, I guess. Didn't have to do that, but it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut up. Ow! You know what? I think explosion not kill you too. Oh, I do really like the lighting effect that the dancing flames have on the stones there. That's pretty cool. Graphics are better than I remember them. Whoa! Okay. Who put you here? It's been so long since I played these games. So long. Uh, by the way, the other games are nothing like this one. Gameplay is way different. Shut up. Gameplay, the graphics, the sound design. Also very, very different. Also not as repetitive. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. Uh, just want to make sure. No. This didn't open anything. And apparently did not. Dude had blue blood. I don't know what that switch did. Shut your mouths. Um, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going in this little dungeon here. There's gotta be some like major treasure to have. I mean, there doesn't have to be. There doesn't have to be. I forgot. In this game, sometimes there's they're just dungeons for the sake of them. I think. But I feel like this one has something to do with. Oh, I gotta open this door. Oh, there is something to do. Here. All right, let's go this way. Maybe there's another. Oh no, there's a save point here. So maybe there's a switch on this side, but there is not. Sure, let's figure out this dungeon. And this is why it's going to take us 15 hours instead of five to beat this game. This is fun, though. I'm having a lot of fun. I love these games. I can't believe. I'm not as intimately familiar with this one as I am with uh, the Soul Reaver games. I should say, intimately familiar with Soul Reaver 2. Oh, that's gotta get old real fast. Anything in the darkness this way? Ooh, nope. Whoops.
I don't know if those things can hurt me when they're ghostly like that. Crimson Empress. Welcome to the chat. Great to see you. Great, great to see you. I don't know what those Whoa! Don't know what those emojis mean, but uh, I appreciate them nonetheless. Button Battler, hello! Welcome to the chat. Good, great to see you. Here to join in the uh, Blood Omen fun, I see. Uh, it has been probably 20 years since I last played this game. <laughs> and I don't remember the secret of this dungeon. I'm trying to figure it out again currently. Oh, we haven't been, not been here yet. No, 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 no. There was a dude right there. I hit the wrong button. Ow, ow, ow. Well, okay. Well, it would help you, but you're not here to talk about your car's extended warranty. Button. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait, how do I cast that light spell? That would really help me out. Is this the light spell? Sure is. Wow, look at that. Oh, no, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Get over here. Whoa, that was really poorly executed. It really was. Okay. Whoa. Anything over here? Button Battler just said, just finished streaming and went into raid. Oh, geez. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Button Battler. Um, anybody here from Button Battler stream? Let me just explain a little bit about what we do here. Uh, my name is Ross. This is Kelvin's Coin TV. We play mostly retro RPGs, and uh, our default go to is really the Heroes of Might Magic game, specifically Heroes of Might Magic 2. Um, but I have been wanting to play the Legacy of Kane games on this channel for since before I started streaming. And I have not been streaming for very long, so I'm very, very much new at this. Um, but I appreciate you being here. It's just, it's so much better with friends. It's so much better with people who... Whoa! Oh my god, I'm about to get smashed by these things. Barry Sanders, give me your blood. Ow, ow, ow. There are a couple other people in chat tonight. Usernames, uh, well, like, I'll just call him Leo. <laughs> Leo and Carveka, who are uh, themselves fans of games that I've played in the past. So it's always... It's, I don't know. There's something special about, um, I don't think I need this spell. I, uh, you know, I'm going to cast it again. Um, there's something special about connecting over these video games that kind of have like a kind of a cult following. These aren't interactable, are they? No. I think we're good down here. Like Heroes of My Magic 2, like Blood Omen, like Summoner. This is how Carveka first. Can these things hurt us? Oh, yeah, they can. I just friggin' sat there hitting the wrong button for a little bit. That's okay, though. We good, dog. We good. Whoa. Whoa. I came down this way, I'm pretty sure. And I went up that way and hit the button. Okay. Yeah, we don't need the light. We're good. Oh, come on. So now I think we've pushed all the buttons so we can go back to the beginning. And see if that door is open. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, well, that was stupid. You know what? I never cast a light spell here. I already got this thing. All right, no, we're, we're fine. I don't think we missed anything. Juke. Juke, 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 juke. Oh, Button Battler says, it's my first time going through Blood Omen, and I, uh, and I love it. The world building and immense dark tone is so good. You have no idea. I can't wait for you to, uh, how, how the hell do I get through this? Maybe there was a button I missed. All right, the save point's right here, so save your game early and often, friends. Um, here, I'll tell you what I'm going to do in this channel. I don't want it to inform uh, what you do on yours, but I'm going to play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain, a game I've never played all the way through. Um, I'm going to play Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver, great game, Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver 2, which is my favorite game of all time, uh, and then I'm going to skip Blood Omen 2 and then play Legacy of Cain Defiance. That's what I'm doing. The reasons for me skipping Blood Omen 2 are my own reasons. Um, if you're really like super into this game, you might like Blood Omen 2. Uh, I did not. <laughs> uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it was no longer puzzle and story oriented and was more combat oriented which is ow what's down here oh, I, I've definitely been this way already Um, I just, I prefer the puzzle, the puzzly, story-driven games. Alright, so, ow, ow, ow. Hit the wrong button. Combat-heavy games are fine. So, I'm gonna play Defiance, which is absolutely less of a puzzle game and more of a, um combat heavy game for sure for sure because the the titles weren't selling as well as they wanted i think they're so like oh you know what's really cool right now is like god of war but what if we had more like combos and stuff for the player to explore oh, help me, God, which is fun in, in its own right but it, it's not so it wasn't legacy of kane you know what i mean whoa i haven't been here okay I don't think I need the light spell, right? I'm gonna cast it anyway. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. Ah, oh, you son of a... Damn spike ball? Okay. What? <laughs> oh, that makes me angry. Okay, let's move on. Let's save the game. Yes, overwrite it. Leave. We're just talking about... But Battle says, it's funny, I'm just talking about uh, Might and Magic Dark Messiah. That, so, the Might and Magic specific games I'm less versed with. I'm much more familiar with Heroes of Might and Magic, Heroes of Might and Magic 2 especially, and Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It has been suggested to me that I play Heroes f 3 on stream, which I haven't done, and Heroes 5. Which I also have not played. 
We just came from there. Uh, what are you doing? I didn't want to do that. Nachtholm. What? Where is Napraptor's retreat? You know what? I have a world map. It'll tell me exactly where we're going. Uh, how do I get to that? Uh, nope, not that, not that. Whoop, that zoom. That's the normal map. Here we go. All right, we have to go to Napraptor's. Oh, it's glowing blue. I forgot about that. So I, I might be going the wrong way. I'm definitely going the wrong way. Doesn't look like there's a way through there. Uh, that's okay. Let's keep exploring. Because I feel like this is where we get to turn into a wolf, and I kind of want that, because that's cool. Like, look at that. Don't you want to be that? <sighs> okay. That's what I want. Unless the enemies here are too powerful. Oh! My lupine form enables me to move like lightning and leap over obstacles barring my path. But the guise of the wolf brings with it its own kind of hunger and rage. How do I leap? That's attack. Nope, that wasn't how to leap. Nope, neither was that. How do I jump? Here we go. Uh, do you have to be in vampire form to, uh, go through doors? Nope, I just uh, blew that. Big time. Nope, that wasn't it. That's not it either. Nope, not it. Okay, great. <laughs> Controls! Help! Uh, how do we get back to uh, turning into a word? There we go. F2. Gotta remember that. Zip! Uh, it doesn't look like I can make that. Can I make this? Nope. It's not letting me jump anymore. So perhaps I need my mist form. Um, I has confusion. Hold on. There we go. I'm gonna eat your face. That probably opened the door on the other side. Come on, dude. Stop running into spikes. No, nope, can't jump that way. Can't jump up there either. Uh, what? Are you sure I can't jump up there? There we go. Full health. Great. Oh. 
this is awkward. I kicked the crap out of me. Perhaps I'm not ready for this jelly. I can take these guys, I think. I meant to drink his blood. My bad. Carefully navigate the spikes. Drink his blood. It is pretty cool that I can still drink blood as a werewolf. That's pretty key. What's all this then? Oh, okay. Nope, we're good then. We good, dog, we good. Yes, I'll override it. So. Whoa, 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 take it easy. Um, wait, how do I get to that menu? So many function keys. This is the area map. Oh, I want that. I didn't get that. Can I climb up there? I might be able to. Still getting a feel for the controls of uh, being a wolf. Okay, can't jump that way. Holy crap. Didn't see you there. I can still read signs as a wolf. That's pretty cool. Can I not jump up anywhere but up? Seems a little bit like a design flaw. There, oh, there we go. Clawed him. What's that up there? Ooh. Entrance to a cave. There's that little bat signal. Got it. One must be wary in dealing with the spirit forges. The wraith and shades that inhabit them offer items beyond mortal dreams in exchange for a sampling of your blood. The wraith smiths forge their items with forfeit souls. Okay. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. Is this a puzzle to figure out, or is it just a... Uh... Hmm, okay. So, you come to the Spirit Forge for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Yes? I think that was the right call. Can I know what these objects are. Alright, so I'm almost dead. <laughs> Which is why I think I reverted form. Uh, well, we have a healing spell, don't we? Oh, 
There we go. Harder darkness to the rescue. Let's do it one more time. The heart of darkness. I think I wanted. Uh... Nope. I think I want to keep it here. Bob I didn't want to be a. Me, and these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. Confused about what the artifacts are. Yeah, 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 I get it. Shed your blood for you. These artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. So, you come to the Spirit Forge for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. I didn't get these objects. Flay. Let's give me more blood Flay. Me, and these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. So. You come to the spirit forge for help, do you? I'm gonna try it in vampire form. Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. Sure. Uh, didn't do anything. Shed your blood for me. Oh, this is a waste of time. And these artifacts will be yours. Imagine what power you could wield. I don't know. Maybe I have to do something else in order to use those. I don't know. Oh, it did give me. OK, right. So set it right there. <laughs> It gave me more of those things. All right, cool. The flay orbs. Whoa, take it easy, Kane. Almost jumped off the cliff there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let's go back this way. God. Oh my God, Kane, please. I meant to drink his blood. Not that hard. I'm a doggy. All right, so it can only be a dog for a little bit of time. WTF am I now? Where is... The, I can't keep track of all these F functions. I'm sorry. Nope. Yep, that's not it. There we go. F7. I'm just north of the pillars. Of Nazgoth. Alright, so I'm on the right path. Me thinks. Yeah, sure. Let's save the game. Seems like a grand idea. You, what are, what is being thrown at me right now? Victus! 
Purple sperms of death. I'll be back for you. The energy bolt employs magical force in its rawest form. A messy spell, but a potent one nonetheless. Ow. Wow, it's really wrecking me. Tyrannosaurus wrecked right now. Uh, can we try that spell? It's this one, right? Let's go, son. I'm behind the pole. You can't hit me. Oh, that wasn't that powerful at all. I'm getting killed. All right, run away. Run away. Expeditious retreat. Uh, Heart of Darkness. I don't know how much I like this spell. Okay, the door closed behind us. Fantastic. I think I can use the Sanctuary spell to get back to Sanctuary, which I think is actually probably what I'm going to do. Oh, you... Oh, doggy woggy. Doggy woggy woo. That was the last thing you do. I'm curious. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Okay. Oh, what are these paintings on the walls? Your strength has increased, for our blood enhances. Do not be greedy, vampire. You have uh, had your fill. I tried to drink more. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, Juke. The village of Nachtholm was typical of Nosgoth peasantry. Yet amidst the farmers and smithies of the quiet country life, prowled brigands and cut purses. Great. Oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Take it easy. I have a feeling I'm not going to be very welcome if I'm not... Even if I'm not a werewolf. Lionhead pub, huh? Whoa, hey. Hey, can I get a drink? Oh my god. Oh my word. Somebody hit something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I drank his blood. Of all the methods I employ, this is perhaps the cruelest. Causing my victim's body to shrink on itself, crushing bones and rupturing organs till the pressure inside burst the sack of fleshy skin, spraying its contents for all to see. Excuse me, what? Let's figure out what it does. Uh, you. Oh, 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 o
Uh, is this just someone's house? They're not attacking me. Well, I pressed the wrong button. All right, well, there's nothing in here but people. I'm just gonna leave them alone. Oh, hey, look, the a cave. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. I would love to, but you're not letting me. There we go. The rain will do you no harm, for our blood preserves. Really? Really? Shatnok. Well, it's northward. So I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, okay. The town of Stenshin Crow bore with it the infamous aroma of its inhabitants. In life, I would not have graced the place with my presence. In death, I merely added to the stench. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. Come on, hit him. All right, never mind. Wow, this is just like a playground. What the hell is that thing? Interesting. So I can't get... I can't get past them. It's like I need the mist form before I can come back here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, my friend. Um. Okay. here, but I am. Miss me. I shall not juke. That's it. Okay. All right, this is where I got distracted. What's all this then? Big horn brothel. Uh, all right, I need life. Um. Sure, you're fine for now. Hi. I'm gonna use this flay spell or item rather. It's not a it's not a spell, it's an item. On you. So violent. Give you a lot of them, so I might as well start using them, huh? These games are usually pretty liberal with 
mana and ammunition and things like that. Things of that ilk. No, 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 you know what? <laughs> well, there's nothing over here. God, this game is fun. Ooh. This looks... Why are you here? It's a brothel, not a butcher shop. What the hell is happening here? Alright, well, I'm just gonna drink everyone's blood and I'll just be on my merry way. Bastards and stench and crow shun me as Nozgov shuns them. I know what it means to be an outsider vampire. I fear you not. But remember this. There are others who will speak to you. So long as you know how to look. Okay, that's interesting. This lunatic was delighted to see me. Perhaps his madness would reveal a greater truth. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, can't get there yet. The gypsies, purveyors of distrust and superstition. Most of their babble should be taken with a pinch of salt, since the gypsies often tinker with weary travelers' minds. However, a few gypsies have something interesting to say. Well, what is it? It's gonna be one or the other, right? There are benefits to traveling beneath a human guise. The threat to my person is lessened and much information can be gleaned. However, the illusion is flimsy and any act of aggression on my part can break the spell. All right, so we're human now. Oh, God. Vasabunt lay, its glory now stained and faded, a faithful child in the looming shadow of Nupraptor's retreat. Okay. Hi. Don't mind me. Just a normal human doing human things. In a human house. With human friends. What's all this then? At times, my magic extends into very exotic disciplines, such as the manipulation of time. I am able to slow time down so I can move about quick as a wolf, while all others move as though they were mired in mud. That seems helpful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not Raptor's keep lay west of Vassabunt. I would seek to cut the cancer from its heart. There's the uh, image of the werewolf there, which tells me, obviously, they want us to be a werewolf for this. But quite frankly, I'm not done being human. What's this place? Captain Bitter's Suds <laughs> with a Z. Love it. A drink for your trouble, sir. The nights can get very cold around here, stranger. I can help you get through it. A drink for your trouble, sir. It's Tony J. And I think I'm pretty sure the other voice is um this actress who does Ariel. That lunatic on the hill. It's not right that we good people have to put up with his magic. Something has to be done. That's Simon Templeton. I didn't realize I could talk to random people. Let's talk to all of them. The Praptor had servants. One day, one escaped the keep and stumbled into our village. Mad he was, and his skin and hair white as a sheet. Scared out of his wits. I don't know which voice actor that is. It might be the one who does uh, Mobius. Something's not right. The pilgrims go in, but I ain't never seen one come out. Whoops. Uh, 
Uh, my bad. Won't be human for very long. Let me talk to them. Something is amiss. The wagons from Avon has just never turned up. Uh. Something's not right. The pilgrims go in, but I never seen one come out. Oh my god. I'm just a regular who man like you. Like you, man. I'm sorry. What's this place? Chopping block, my kind of joint. Whoa! Just gonna change the spell here to uh, the lights. No, you know what? The thing I want is this. That's the thing I want. What? Okay, so you have to be a wolf somewhere. Climb past those rocks, me thinks. Oh, jeez. Why did that not work? We need a better weapon than the iron sword here. Okay, can't get through there yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. They're not hostile. I don't know what that was. Should this object strike an enemy, rot and decay would instantly eat their flesh and leave only a pool of blood and tissue. For a time after, the toxins are still active, and therefore lethal to the touch. Weird. I think I'm gonna not mess with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is not working anymore. This person walking by is just like, uh, that's the city for you. Someone's throat gets ripped out and the blood gets drank. The wind carried screams from the west. I couldn't help but smile. Someone else in this world was suffering more than I. <laughs> Well, west is where we are headed. Juke. Double juke. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, those big old battle axes, or halberds, whatever they might be. No range. Oh, he almost killed me. Fire place, eh? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change the item to, uh... Yeah, slowing down time. Let's try this. Handy.
<laughs> Hope I'm hitting both at the same time. I am. Groovy. Yeah, flip that switch, baby. All right, that spell is incredibly powerful. And uh, I'm kind of hoping I save it. Oh, didn't mean to zoom in. Uh, sure. I don't know how powerful this spell really is. Whoa! That's a problem. Totally meant to drink his blood. This kind of stuff was a healer for a little while. Oh, for no time at all, apparently. The gaping moor of Nupraptor's retreat rained upon Nosgoth all his pain and misery. The disease begged to be cleansed. Uh, nope. I don't have any magic. Come to butthead. <laughs> Alright, well let's- oh, 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 oh. Range of weapons works out in a very strange way in this game. Like my first, my initial strike reaches them, but they don't reach me. When my second strike doesn't reach them, it would appear. Nope, oh, that reached me. All right. Shit, you have perished. Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, whatever. All right, we have all the magic points I think we're gonna get. Masquerade as Chumon. All right, so this is where we died last time. Whoa, hold on. I gotta flip the switch. Are you gonna let me flip the switch? Y'all gonna let me flip it? Can I flip it? Yes, he can. Oh, my sweet baby Ray. Please don't be disguised anymore. What now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, do I have to turn into a werewolf now? I guess now I do. Um, well, we were told that we have to turn into a werewolf, so I'm going to sit right here. Oh, I know that skull waterfall image. Um... We're gonna sit here, we're gonna regain our magic points here. Uh, okay, so I just realized that I can't actually jump anywhere from here, because it's far, far too high for any wolf to jump. I think I need mist form. 
Right, so we're back in Kane's Sanctuary trying to figure out where to go next. Thank you all for watching Kelvin's Coin TV. My name is Ross. This has been Blood Omen Legacy of Kane. See you in the next episode. Bye.